Today, guys, I'm going to introduce my solution to the problem I've run into in various places, especially western Wyoming and southern Idaho here at my home, is gems and gold found in dry washes where there's no way to get to any water. And packing water is a pain in the neck. So, I wondered if I could come up with a dry jig. So here is my dry jig. And you can tell it's got screened openings in the bottom just like a jig that uses water. For gems you can have a solid bottom in this. And I've tried it for gems already and it works terrific. Um, but I haven't tried it for gold with an air supply. And the, the jig itself is mechanical. And I'm going to tip this thing up here so you can see the cams and the rollers on the bottom of... You can see the cam in there and you can see the roller and it's identical on each end. And this frame right here it takes the physical motion and imparts it to the plastic box. The ABS, the box is ABS just like all my other jigs. And the idea of this, you notice this inlet right here is for a 12 volt, hopefully, I'm going to use it today with a 120 volt. Uh, air supply, but I'm hoping to come up with a 12 volt air supply that will force air up through the screen and I'm going to fill the boxes with one inch a shot. And I'm going to see if we can recover tungsten in this, that 300 mesh tungsten you've seen me use before. And if we can get most of the sand to go on out as waste and we're gonna find out and the bottom of the box has a hopper that angles down from here down to the center and from up here and down to the center and then there's a slot in the bottom that feeds this output trough and this is where the cons are gonna go. We're gonna put a bucket right here and we're going to see what kind of cons we end up with with the air supply. Now of course when I ran it for gems I didn't clean the material I just scraped up what we've got right here and I've got lots of gravel here some of it from Idaho some from Wyoming and dirt and and of course the fine dirt just goes right through the screen and comes out here but I put a dozen garnets in there and all of the garnets ended up down in the bottom of this. So that told me that it works fine for gems. I think what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'll make little flat solid bottom boxes to go in here or just make an entire new box assembly for gems that doesn't have the screen because um, we don't care if we end up with sand down in the bottom with the gems or whatever. Um, we just want the material to go out and we don't need the screen to lift the gravel. So for gems, a solid bottom will work fine. Um, it might even work, it might even worked okay for gold. I don't know. Maybe we could have just done away with the uh, hopper bottom, the screen bottom and the hopper bottom and um, and we didn't need the air. The idea of the air was what I was trying to do was get a cleaner con um, and with air blowing up through I was hoping it would pick up the lights uh, above the shot and let them flow on out of the box and I have no idea if that's going to work or not. This is a prototype and um, we're just going to give it a try and we'll see what the heck happens. You can see I've got it driven by a motor and the motor floats and it's held up, it's held up against a stop over here by that spring. 
and it's got bearings and you can see here if you look in there there's an adjustment plate so you can raise and lower the drive shaft which affects how much lift you get on the box and um, these little round headed bolts here are stops for the movement and you I want them I want I want it to be completely free to come up as far as it will by the cam but then I don't want it to just fly up so um, I've got these adjusted with you know, like 60 thousandths clearance above the max travel because I think that the stop on it actually helps the jigging action and then I've got nylock, nylon bolts here and there that control and these these under here control how much side to side movement there is down at the wheel and up here these control the side to side movement at the top and this is the endo movement of course and I've got everything adjusted to try to make it operate as smooth as I can and this is how it runs empty And I can have a max of a half an inch of lift if I want it, but when I ran it with a half an inch, I felt like that it was a little wild. So I've got it set now for about a quarter of an inch of lift, and we're going to give that a try. So I'll be back.